Look what's finally washed into port. Hold up, Cap. That be Malnage, the High Queen Sea Devil of the Dead Fire itself, awaiting us like a shark in eight. Always, Cap. Captain, I've heard a mess and a half about you. Mostly good. Though I see your taste in company could use some refining. Typical, Molnage. Can't match my skill, so you try to spew shit. Boy, when you're as old as me, your skill will still be naught more than the untrained fumbling of an Adiran maid to the refined workings of my mind. I've heard about your run-ins with Captains Benweth and Ferrante. Meeting the old Princip, he seems like. Almost makes a girl green, the envy of missing the party. I'm tracking a man by the name of Romaro, traitor to the cause. Romaro ain't no traitor, you mind-blind sack of squid squirts. Captain, there'd be a bounty of some 4,000 pounds on Romaro, quick or dead. I'd be willing to cut you a tenth of that, here and now, if you give me any knowledge you might have stumbled across on your travels. Careful, Watcher. You don't want to go making yourself an enemy of the Principe Sen Petrella. Anyone aids our enemy shares their fate, you know? Fare thee well, Captain. See you around, Seraphon. <laughs> Worry about you, Adair. There'd be a thing of free out here that you shouldn't be aiming a pet. Hey, it was dark. I only saw the back of your head. I thought you were some huge island squirrel. This ain't about me, farmer. Thirsty. A drink, sir? Quench your thirst on the way up the mountain? Spirits and the like? No one this side of the slope will scorn you for a little indulgence. Between us, folks tend to linger and spend coin in parikis when they've had a few. Good for business, I say. This is why wizards get a bad reputation. I got nowhere else to turn. Stonehill is going to kill me! 
Don't drag me into your mess, Berteno. Not again. Then you leave me no choice. I'm sorry. Hey, come back with that! Madiko! That flaccid batso! Imp, you had none of that hack? That's what I thought. What am I going to do? Think, Fasina. My postenago of a... of a lover stole Rokawa's fingers. The master will kill me if I don't get them back. He must have wanted to raise some fast coin. Harkemir will flay me alive over those damned gloves. Is it strange? I don't know. Go consult Arkemir's grimoire if you're that curious. Not that it's any of your business, but Berteno used to spend a lot of... late nights here. I got into the Construct's guts and marked off Berteno as a safe visitor, so they would not attack him. And before you ask, no, I will never do this again. You do not know Arkemir, do you? He is as cheap as a Wodekin clerk. Whatever he loses from those gloves, he will take out on me. Somehow. He said that he's in debt to a Raotaian captain by the name of Hamuto Stonehill. By all accounts, a deadly serious man. You will? If you are expecting some payment or reward, I do need to keep this under wraps. You look capable. While I am stuck behind this counter, I am in no position to refuse help. A discount goes without saying. You're saving me a world of trouble by doing this. Thank you. I, I do not know where Berteno fences his goods, but he mentioned an appointment at the Brass Citadel docks. Hamuto Stonehill must be as dangerous as he sounds, or else Berteno wouldn't be so panicked. I am the apprentice of He of Many Colors. That's plain old Archimir to you. What few spells I know have names like Archimir's Dripping Scourge or Archimir's Malevolent Codpiece. He made me conjure a household staff of imps. Horrible, chittering things. I think it's because he knows I hate them. Ah, he makes me call him by the titles he's earned in his long career. I can also call him by the titles I've made up since the start of my apprenticeship. To me, he's the bringer of foul wind, the teeth of suckling imps, and the herald of dirty slippers. Berteno stole Rokawa's fingers to pay off his debt. If Arkemir finds out, he will boil me into broth for his imps. Suddenly, my whole existence revolves around these gloves. Incredible. Shame I weren't at that Animancy trial. My mind would have cut Theos's plot to bloody ribbons. Indeed, it's a wonder we ever stopped Theos without you. Don't let it discourage, lad. Odd wage of silver you can keep up. How generous of you. You have no right to interfere in Rawatai's business. Hawana culture isn't. Did the business Queen summon you company everyone drunch? to the palace? Akira, I've never seen Aruihi run so fast. Do you think the Audra Colossus would come here next? Pray to Cope. Thank you. 
candles and bombs. Halt! What is your business at the Brass Citadel? You were the mysterious Watcher. The one who nearly caused a riot in Queen's birth. Forgive my ignorance. I did not know you were from the rough country. The Grand Secretary Atsura wants to meet you. His office is on the lower level of Imperial Command. Up the stairs. Once you're inside, go downstairs through the room on the right. Hazanui Karu is the ultimate authority in the Brass Citadel. But she must endure the sops at the palace. When she returns, I'm sure she will grant you an audience. For now, Atsura Nui speaks with her voice. Tails unfurled and sword held high to battle for glory and Rautai. Faithfully done, Emiani. Report to Wakoyo Nui when your hands and your temper have healed. That's the last time I ship out with some soft handed runt. Why does your Ranga carve his name into a rock? The Ranga Nui. And it's a commemoration to show what he built. Oh. Then did your Raparo also write their names on other stones? For what do you squawk and gloat over a heap of stone? The Brass Citadel is a marvel of modern engineering. With the gates barred and the cannons primed, it can withstand any attack and weather any storm. Surely you can see what a fine stronghold this is. Please, spare us empty pleasantries. We transformed a rocky cove into the best defended harbor in Nekataka. Such achievements must be celebrated. This rocky cove was once a prized fishing spot for the Riparu. These Rawataians act as if every bare islet is merely awaiting a fort or a farm. They cannot look at anything without planning to change it. To strive is to survive. Those who would achieve greatness must make the world a better, more ordered place than they found it. Why change the world when you can learn to live in it the way it is? This is what my people have done for thousands of years. Must we sacrifice the needs of the few to the whims of the many then? Akira. Nothing invigorates like a good discussion. Thank you for indulging us.
Fought to victory round time. Triumph over your foes. Storm shall never bend your backs, nor battles break your swords. before venturing forth. My Seraphin, is there anything you have a hard time with, aside from humility? I reckon I'll be a fancy at most things. More so, all things piratical. If only we were all as confident in real skills as you are in imagined ones. You'd be right surprised how far confidence will take you, lad. Well, you'd have to give it a try. It. I don't have time to chit chat. Fasina sent you, didn't she? Postenago, just for these. Soft as down, but not a single fence willing to pay me a fair price. Maybe they've got imp stink all over them. <sighs> Should have guessed these were bad luck. Well, it's too late to go making smart decisions, isn't it? Here he comes, and I'm too late. If Hamuto doesn't give me an extension on my debt, I'm a dead man. So, Berteno. You hired a mercenary, or else a negotiator. That coin should have gone toward your debt to me. Huh? No, I didn't. Uh, that is, uh, I would never go behind your back. I... I like dealing with people of substance. This is a private matter. Your interference is unnecessary. Do I? One can be adherent to the tenets of maritime law and still be seen as a monster. You must care a great deal for this insufferable little worm to stake your purse on his freedom. Four hundred pyres are what Berteno owes, when I will accept that sum to have this sorry business concluded. Then our business is concluded. believe I'm finally out of debt. For the first time in my life, I'm free! What... 
What was that for? Crazy Botso, stay away from me! You're back. Kue, any news? You were willing to put up all that money? What of the gloves? What happened to them? At least I know Arkmir won't feed me to the imps. Take your discount as well. If the cupboard doesn't make its goals, so be it. <laughs> 